go ahead and get started um, on continuing our ZBrush. I wanted to just show you, I'm, I'm not sure why I'm wanting to show you this, but uh, this is uh, just the, the breakdown on a grasshopper. So if you wanted to know some of the scientific um, aspects of this, so the head, the thorax, and the, and the abdomen, uh, also these little uh, sections in here, uh, I thought it'd be cool to kind of call out like the femur and the palp, compound eye, foreleg, hind leg, middle leg. So these are cool terms. Some of these words I don't know how to say, but anyways, it's good to kind of know if this is your research topic, this is a good thing to look at. So uh, I know the, our researcher in the library, they have to know these terms in and out. So. I don't know why I'm showing this, but anyways, uh, we'll go to our, our real form here and you can see uh, some of the forms I wanna work on today is just kind of slicing this up and I counted this, there are eight uh, sections. Uh, it's all the way up to seven to here and I'm calling this uh, eight out to here, but we're gonna kind of sketch out, kind of draw uh, really roughly and then we'll use our pinch tool to kind of build this up and kind of give an organic look and kind of have this undulating uh, roundness on the bottom here. All right, and then it will probably stop there and then we'll start working on this hind leg. I'm not really sure how we're gonna do this. Maybe hopefully there's a stamp tool or some sort of tool that does this a long thing. I don't really wanna do long lines here, but we can. Um, I don't think this will be something we can do in substance uh, or not. Uh, We'll debate that later. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna get into ZBrush and hopefully you guys are moving along. Uh, you don't have to follow this uh, line by line, but uh, you can kind of watch through once and get a, a good idea of what we're doing. All right, so we're at our highest uh, di division, uh, which is six. And let me know if that's killing your machine. Obviously mine will start to smoke here in a second with a uh, screen grab, Photoshop on and whatnot is running. So let's go ahead, we're gonna go ahead and uh, obviously we're in our edit mode, we're gonna go to draw using my standard tool. I've got a huge uh, brush right here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit S and uh, go down. Again, I'm still using my mouse and conjunction with my stylus uh, just cause I'm a dork. Uh, I have a hard time zooming in and out. So I'm using my move tool. We're trying to get up close to here. And so again, go and look at this. We're gonna kind of cut right here, kind of follow that leg and cut straight down. And I'm gonna use my Alt or Option key and just kind of cut down here. Again, I'm using Command Tab to jump, jump back and forth to my preview. Okay. Alt or Option. Just gonna cut and then doesn't have to be perfect. We're gonna go in and start bending stuff and, all right, so the next one is kind of straight down again. I'm holding down my Option key. And you can start to see they're starting to angle out as we start moving out, all right. One of the things uh, which I may have screwed up is I don't know if I have my X. Okay, just make sure your X is on, make sure you're doing on both sides. All right, this is making a kind of a weird uh, shape here. Make sure I'm using my standard tool. All right, for some reason, Apple Z that. It's making a dark mark instead of a pushing in it. All right, I'm just gonna push it in a little bit more. And again, you can use your shift to kind of lock it into an ortho view. And I'm gonna zoom in, use my move tool over here. Again, I'm using uh, my mouse to kind of zoom in and out because uh, it just takes me a while to get used to it. So it's one, two, three, four. And then we want five, six, and seven. And we don't have to follow exactly. Uh, I think I'm getting uh, all right, so be careful with that. So, uh, okay, 
if I zoom it around so I can get underneath it. You can saw it went right to my leg. Don't want that. All right, so again, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five, and then six and seven and eight. All right, so it's a little tight here on the end. I'm not too proud of that, but again, we're just sketching it. It's just like in drawing class, you have the model there. You're just doing these really quick gesture lines. They're not committed to them yet. You can always erase them and undo. So this leg is kind of problematic. Wish we had it uh, more of a T-pose or something where you had a little bit more room in here, but it is what it is. All right, and I just want you to kind of go around and finish up these edges. So it goes all the way around to the bottom. Okay, we're just sketching out. These aren't permanent. Just kind of giving some guidance on where we're going to cut these. All right. And I kind of forced these in. It should probably be a little bit more smoother, but again, I'm recording this and just kind of have to go with my mistakes. So if you guys are going to do 10 times better than my model, uh, I'm doing this on the fly. Okay, I am totally using my tablet now. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this in pretty hard. And again, I'm gonna look back at my drawing. I'm probably cut in here. Can't see it from that angle, but I'm just gonna go ahead and make kind of a tear and a tear here too. All right, hold down the shift and it's starting to look pretty gr grotesque here. But again, uh, we can do build up later. I'm just kind of making it where there's a nice division between the wings. And I thought this was ass, but uh, if we can go back to our scientific uh, information there, and we should go ahead, kind of push through. Again, you guarantee you guys are probably not watching up to this, but you can kind of fast forward, get some ideas on how to model this. And I keep hitting the home button on the stupid uh, stylus. I wish I could tape that off of there, or rip it off. I never use it. Okay, I'm hitting my option. And again, negating it, just using a, a simple standard tool. All right, as ugly as can be, but again, we're just sketching out where this uh, should be. We're gonna look at this, and so we have this un underline uh, here too, uh, where this kind of ectoskeleton kind of wraps around and then stops right here. So I'm gonna go back here and start sketching that out, okay? And you may wanna move your stylus around, get used to where you wanna put that. It does take a while to get kinda of used to. And some of you have a, a control is what I was hitting, or it's creating that mask mark. We don't want that. All right, I'm just gonna do one at a time. All right. Sometimes it'll do that, just hit Apple Z. And on control, don't hit option. Okay. All right, I think my computer's getting hot. So I have to Apple Z. Sometimes it'll do that, but again, I think it's, I'm just asking a lot for my computer to do a full screen grab and ZBrush. All right, so you can see it gets a little bit wider um, using my mouse. So it gets wider as it goes up. So just kind of keep looking back and forth. Again, we're just doing an artistic version of this. We're not doing scientific. We're doing scientific. We'd actually probably be retoping the surface a little bit more than what we're doing. All right, so I'm gonna kind of get in here. It's gonna kind of challenging with that leg in the way. Again, click away from the object and you can spin it. Okay, I'm gonna look at that drawing one more time or that picture. You can see it kind of split and splits twice. All right, so I go ahead and split here. 
and look at your drawing or your picture. I don't know why I call it drawing. Okay, I'm going to split it again. I'm going to use my move tool. Okay, I'm actually using my stylus for the first time instead of my mouse. I'm going to get a little bit more comfortable with it. Again, it takes a while to be brave with these tools. And again, within about 40 hours of modeling, there'll be an expert jumping in and out, comfortable with the hand and eye coordination with uh, your stylus. This takes me a while to get used to it. All right, so we've got that so far. Um, I'm gonna start mudding up the bottom. So if I go Command Tab, and you can see kind of a kind of belly, I'm just gonna kind of make these kind of belly rolls here. And I'm just gonna build it up uh, naturally with uh, mud buildup. All right, so I'm gonna use my uh, move tool. Move on down here. And I'll make sure, oops, hit uh, option, make sure that's pushed in. And I don't know what the rest of the belly looks like, but uh, we'll just go ahead and get into uh, clay buildup. And I'm gonna go up on my uh, brush size and I just hit S, okay. Just gonna kind of build up these edges and then build up where it's nice and fat. Okay, spin around, see how much we've added. Just try loose steps right now. I hit uh, shift and then smooth it out. I'm just going around the edges. I really hate this button there. I wish I could maybe 3D print something to put over it. All right. Just start to see I'm building up that these layers. Baby steps. And the harder you push, I think it will uh, release more clay buildup. All right. And don't worry about it, making it look perfectly smooth and all that. This is an organic creature. We're going to put up all kinds of amazing textures, procedural textures on it, and a uh, substance painter. Hopefully you guys are going to hear me. I need to speak up. Always forget to talk. I get tired and I my voice gets quiet. All right, so I'm just building it up. Okay, this could be awful. I don't know. All right, now holding shift and just kind of smooth out, just building up textures and knocking it down. All right, I'll do a little bit more. All right, just a little section in here. Building it up. Okay. And while you're doing this, think about what you want to do for your next project, you know. Uh, it's coming up, our next project is yours. Uh, but again, everything you're learning here is going to be valuable. I think I just looked up uh, for my daughter what texture artists and modelers make. They make one from sixty to eighty thousand. Woo, that's pretty good. I didn't better than Target or Wally World. That's pretty good uh, money. It's just trying to land that job is the the challenge. I think but I'll share that information with you guys tomorrow. I'm really building up this near the end. I think it gets a little bit more rounder near the end cap. Again, smooth it out. All right. This one's challenging. Again, you got your X on, make sure you're doing symmetry. Or you're gonna have to rinse and repeat. All right, just keep, keep adding. Again, you're just trying to, we're gonna go and use maybe the, the pinch tool here in a little bit, to create some hard edges. All right. I like this organic look before we start cleaning it up. 
So we look around, it looks pretty good. All right, we're, again, we're just about 10 minutes of modeling, it looks pretty good. So we're just gonna kind of go out in here and do the same. Look at your uh, picture, see what it looks like. I'm probably gonna stop here in about five more minutes. Getting used to uh, the tablet so far. It's pretty good. A lot better than my old one. My old one was about maybe 10 years old. It's pretty old. So the harder you you hit, the bigger it's going to come out. So get around with playing around with with that. So you, you know that you can. The harder you push on the stylus, the more clay is going to come out. All right, so we don't want this perfectly symmetrical. This is an organic. Could have gotten a fight with an ant, lost a wing. It's really cool. The harder I press, uh, the more material it comes out. Okay, kind of getting a little bit more bold with using the stylus to use with my move tool. Okay, this takes this takes time. And I've also seen professional artists uh, put uh, what is that tape that you use for tennis uh, handles, so you have a little bit more uh, more of a handle to grab, especially if you're doing those for 14 hours a day. This uh, Tool, but it feels very narrow for me, but you can kind of thicken up. You can also use like a pencil holder to just so you have a little bit more of a grip area because this this is basically if you're, this is your job, you're going to be spending thousands of hours with this stylus. And some people do video editing and post production work with this stylus, not just a uh, ZBrush. All right, not looking great, but you can kind of see what I'm doing here. All right, I'm gonna go back uh, in a second and use my pinch tool, but I'm just gonna kind of zoom out, start to see some sort of organic shapes. Let's look at uh, our form. And you can see these shells do not just crack in, but they're kind of overlaying each other, kind of like a knight and knight armor or armor on a, a knight. So I'm not gonna go that crazy. I'm just gonna make sure that there's kind of these cracks and indentations. I'm gonna go back and uh, zoom in. And we're gonna use, I am using my mouse and we use my pinch tool. So, all right. So I'm actually gonna spend some time on the pinch tool. So I'm gonna stop this here, but you can see uh, where we're at. Looking pretty good. So I'm actually doing a save and again, uh, when you're saving in uh, ZBrush, you want to do Z, uh, save as, and you want to do a .ztl file, okay? And so I have four. I'm just going to go to five. Save. And then we're going to go and stop for now. 